Well, happy Tuesday, East Texas. I've got to show you this because we have had a major change in the weather pattern. Now, you may be saying, what, what, what changed? Well, let's talk about this. You remember Friday? Just before the weekend, I think most people remember Friday, right? 103, that was our actual high temperature. That's about 9 degrees above average. On Saturday, we had a high temperature of 96. Now, that's closer to normal. Our normal high is 94, so that was only about 2 degrees above average. But Sunday, we started to see the clouds and spotty showers. That dropped our average high temperature of 87 in the area. That's about 7 degrees below the normal temperature. And, yeah, if you remember yesterday afternoon, we only made it to 76 degrees. That's 18 degrees below average for this time of the year. Remember, August is not only the hottest time of the year for us, but also the driest time. And that's going to change as well because this frontal boundary stalled out across the area, increasing the rain across the region. We've got rain coming down now across portions of Coffin and up towards uh, Emory and Rains County, northern portions of Van Zandt County, seeing some light to moderate rain. Also along the 59 corridor, as you head from, uh, let's say, Bear Creek, Jefferson, down towards the Marshall community, and more widespread, moderate to heavy downpours lift through Angelina County up towards uh, Nacogdoches County. In fact, you can see downtown Lufkin seeing some moderate rain showers crossing up from Dyball, heading up towards the Nacogdoches area. Also, Pollock, Apple Springs seeing a moderate to heavy shower, even a little lightning with that, heading up towards the Alto and the Cushing community as well. The overall flow straight from the Gulf of Mexico, sending us waves of rainfall, and that trend will continue throughout the rest of the day. So by midday, I think rain chances increase in coverage area-wide. We'll see periods of scattered showers throughout the day. We'll see this pattern repeat itself heading into your Wednesday as well, with off and on scattered periods of rain making its way through the region. Overall, an additional one to two inches of a rainfall expected across the area at least with some isolated higher totals possible. So your first alert seven day forecast, 80 degrees. That's it. If we're lucky today with rain likely, we'll see more rain on the way for your Wednesday. We'll lower that to scattered showers Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before another front gives us yet more rain chances for the upcoming weekend.